Hi guys, in this episode I will show you the power of a gumbo because this is a very helpful tool uh, some of you might not know what is all about so first of all, gumbo is that tiny widget, tiny arrow widget which appears when you click on an object uh, if you don't have it uh, by some uh, accident just remember go down to the bottom of your software and then click gamble, uh, just uh, make it thicken, and then you got it. Yes. So, so basically, gamble it's like helping tool. When you when you like drag the, one of those arrows, you can easily move uh, your object. Yeah, whatever you like. But this is just uh, not very precise moving. This is just uh, uh, spontaneous. Mm, mm, motion somewhere but if you want to be very precise you just need to click on one of those arrows just with one click and then you, you can precise dimension you want to you want to move uh, and then you are sure uh, you're going to be the, your object is going to be moved towards the um, axis you want so if you want to compare or if you want to check out which axis you are moving here this is a second widget here which represent um, like axis uh, information which axis will switch so let's for example move um, that box 10 uh, millimeters towards uh, x axis which is red line red uh, arrow type 10 and then just press enter so now you are sure that this is a precise 10 millimeter so this is uh, the first feature of the gamble the second feature of the gamble is when you want to move it just towards the specific axis, you need to just move yourself and then small a plane here, you see, appears. It means that you're going to be moved only in axis which, is, which represents ZY here, like this, yeah? So that's also um, uh, important. But for, to, be, to be very precise, I'm never using the spontaneous um, moving like just dragging and dropping. I always just click on it and type the dimension I want. So this is just the moving. Uh, so the second option is um, if you see these arrows here. Uh, the arrows basically are like rotational uh, uh, feature when you can rotate it somehow. But the same, I'm not using it very often as, a, as just a spontaneous dropping. I just click on it and then precise uh, like angle of rotation. Yeah, So this is something uh, I can use very precise. So, uh, and the same thing, the red, ar um, uh, the red arch, it's actually representing the rotation towards Z, Y axis, which is uh, which, which you can like compare to your uh, small um, axis widget uh, on the left bottom uh, side of your window. Okay, so um, and the same you can actually do with all of those arches on the widget. Yeah. Uh, another thing is just like a tiny dotted line here with a uh, with a small uh, rectangle at the end. So this is actually. Uh, scaling widget. Yeah? You can scale it as you want, but you can also scale it by clicking on it and you just multiplicate by by uh, the number you want to have. So let's say if my um, uh, if the, the one of the edges of my box is 10 millimeters, so if I want to have a, a 110, I have to multiply by 1.1. 1 1. Yeah, 1, sorry. 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah, and then it's uh, it's bigger with additional te uh, ten millimeters. Yeah, so uh, ten millimeters or one millimeter depends what size, uh, what uh, proportions you are. Yeah, it's not like you typing the, the the size and you're having size. Then you have then you need to use the scale axis here. So um, this is different way. But the, I'm just talking about the widget about the gamble today, so which which is not something we, we are interested uh, to play with the comments yet. So so this is basically it. Um, a, but the gamble has additional settings here. You, you've got a, also the white line with the red circle on the end. When you click on it, you can change uh, kind of settings. So for example, 
aligning uh, the uh, gumball itself, for example, to the object. Yeah, nothing will actually change. No, well, it not much change when I click on it, but. Uh, but if you have your object more complicated, then uh, your widget is going to be placed in the middle of that object. Or, for example, if your, uh, if your object is rotated, for example, let's just rotate it a little bit. Let's go back to the C plane and rotate it a little bit like this. Yeah, and if your object is rotated like that, I can align the gumball to, towards the axis of the box not to the axis of the seaplane, which is that that net there where your object is lying on, or to the to the word depends what kind of configuration you have to, when you when you're modeling. So let's just ab align it to the object. So then it's aligned, and then you can uh, move it towards the axis, which represents the the edges of the. Mm, uh, the the box this this in this case is it's it's simple when you have objects more complicated more geometrical um, advanced then uh, the, the, this configuration might be different and uh, uh, might look uh, the, the settings the aligning of the of the gumball which it looks different okay let's go back to the C plane and let's see what else we have. So we do have something like smooth dragging and snappy dragging. Smooth dragging and snappy dragging is nothing else than just uh, when you have snappy dragging and we have you, you have a snapping options here on the top bottom bar activated. Then when you drag it, then your object is actually snapping to the points. Not that not nothing actually is next uh, to the object like like. Uh, uh, like no object is next to your my box, so nothing will be snapped to, but uh, it only snapped to the to the middle prop probably as I as I see yeah, to the middle, uh, to the center of the uh, of the coordinate system. Okay, this is the another feature. So let's go back to my uh, settings, and there's something like drag strength. Drag strength is just um like a like uh, s uh, distance that um, gumball allows to move the object. So let's check. Let's check it out. So let's just decrease that amount, and then the dragging is like getting slower, getting more precise. And when you go to the one, the dragging is very very slow. Yeah, like just a tiny dragging, like one millimeter probably, or one point of the scale. It depends what scale you are. But basically, I'm not changing anything in here. But in just for your information, you have that options if you need it. Uh, and uh, you can of, of course reset all uh, settings which have you've, you've done during the, the changing. The interesting interesting thing is relocating gumball. So if you want to have like your gumball aligned to the specific position, you can just do it. You can align the at the center of the gumball. The first axis, the second axis, and you have it. This is very helpful, and I'm, I've been using it very, very often. So, for example, if I want to scale that of that edge, I'm going to be scaled to that point. Yeah, so it's going to be like this. It's very interesting, uh, and it, to the more complex geometry you have on a um, on your stage, there's going to be. Uh, much more functional because each surface might be uh, might be needing their the own mm, editing and the gumball will help to to do it so okay so let's reset gumball settings and let's go back to another feature which is in this case when you hold alt command on the mac command uh, button on your keyboard then you're copying block, you're copying with the drag and drop. So let's take a look. I'm pressing Alt right now and I'm dragging my arrow and dropping it aside of the objects. So now the object is uh, like copied, copied uh, just next to it. Yeah. And also it the same works when you when you use the, the arch com, uh, feature. So when you, when you press Alt and you when you and you just move the arch and it rotates. Yeah. And it's the same when you um, press Alt, click, and then press 10, then it's rotate uh, aside with the 10 millimeter distance. 
This is a great comment. I've, I'm using it very, very often as a designer and I'm, when I'm designing. Okay, I guess this is it. So thanks uh, for watching and I hope my um, advice was helpful to you. Please subscribe to that channel if you like. I'm also inviting you to, to my membership plan. Uh, uh, on YouTube, I'm going to like upload the most uh, interesting pro um, tutorials. And thanks for today, and see you next time. Bye bye.